Hey guys, Riley Spanish here. In this video, I have eight Mimic UEX showcases. Um, got so lucky last time I opened three of them, I decided to go look for some more today and found a bunch. So, um, happy to see these. If you watched the last video of me ripping uh, three of these, I pulled the Lugia alternate art from one. Um, so, picked up a handful more. Hopefully get maybe some hits from Evolving Skies. Got eight packs of Evolving Skies here, so um, definitely got some potential. Get that promo out of the cardboard and start ripping. Usually I do get about, you know, one pull per uh, thing, per showcase, whatever you want to call it. And more often than not, it's one white and one black code from the... Silver Tempest pack, and then you just hope to get lucky on the Evolving Skies. Gardevoir, Verizion. But would love, love, love a big hit from Evolving Skies today. There's that Black Border Code card. Let's hope for something solid here. Snow Runt and a Ho-Oh V. Good start. And let's get into the first Evolving Skies pack. Starting off with a bad code card. It's interesting. Um, you will, if you open a bunch of these, you'll find code cards of the old, like initial print run and new ones kind of mixed in together. So it um, doesn't really make any kind of difference or anything, just something I've noticed. But the all green old code card is not the one you want to see, unfortunately. But that's okay. One normal uh, V from the first one. Only have up to go. There's a code. Promo. Three more packs. Obviously, I don't expect to get as lucky as I did last time hitting that Lugia alternate art, but... Still lots of potential, uh, especially with this many packs. It's, uh, what, 24 packs total here, so definitely a lot of chances to get some good hits. Superior V Trainer Gallery, beautiful, and Cobalion. Nice way to uh, have a white code card pack, for sure. And a black code card this time. Chin Chow and a Metagross Hollow. On to Evolving Skies pack number two. Got the Sylveon cover artwork and another dud code card. Just quickly sift through this. Unfortunately, Evolving Skies, very tough pull rates, but it's such an expensive set to buy nowadays that. Finding stuff like this that just has a pack in it is probably the best way to go to find it, honestly. This one did not have a promo. Look at that. Just a blank cardboard holder. I have never had that happen before. I have had it before where I got two, though, so looks like it's finally come full circle. Like At least a year later, I'm getting one with no promo. Kind of funny. Could be in the box, but I doubt it. They're pretty tightly packed in that cardboard when they're in there. First one here, Jinx Trainer Gallery and an Archeops Rare Hollow. Second Tempest Pack. And two for two on the good code cards. First one was just a Hollow Rare, but did get the Trainer Gallery card. So let's hope for something nice in the actual rare slot of the pack. Durant and Regilecki VMAX. I certainly miss the days when that was like a $25 card when it was like the main thing in the metagame that you had to have, but that time has come and gone. First good code card on Evolving Skies. Show me something nice. Rufflet, and it is a rare hollow Florgis. Not what I wanted, but time marches on. Got five more boxes left, so hopefully I can make something happen here. 
Come on. I'm just being stubborn. There we go. Got my promo this time. Not that it's worth anything, but I still like to get it. Sell it for like 25 cents on TCG Player. I always have to list them at least as moderately played because they always have dings up on the top and bottom from that cardboard. It is not an efficient way to package that. Noivat and a Reshiram V. Bunch of smaller pulls so far. I did get one good like uh, V Trainer Gallery pull, but don't believe it's really worth much. Two for two on the black code cards again. That is two in a row. The last one actually had perfect code cards, just had rare hollows too. Nine Tails and a Reggie Lecky V. That is a lot of normal V cards so far. Another three out of three good code cards. I got uh, ultra rares in the last two packs, so let's hope that that is the theme continuing into Evolving Skies here. Reverse Dream Ball, another hollow rare Galarian Zapdos. Hate to see that. And that is the halfway point. We do have a decent little stack of pulls here, but nothing uh, worth writing home about, that's for sure. On to box number five. White code card. Hope for a trainer gallery in this one. Breaks in trainer gallery, just like that, and Gardevoir. And first time that's actually happened in this rip. Two for two on white code cards, but we're still over 50% black code cards from Silver Tempest in this, so I cannot complain. My Lodic Talon Flame. Can I get three in a row good code cards? Maybe break the uh, hollow rare streak? I do have another chance here. Let's get something better than a hollow rare, please, please, please. Hitmonchan. It's a full art. Is it an alternate art? Is that the Sylveon alternate art? I can't tell by the color. It is. It's the second time I've pulled this from one of these. I have pulled this alternate art three times, and uh, I can't seem to, <laughs> to pull other ones, but either way, I'm super happy to have hit this. That is a great pull from Evolving Skies. Love to see it. Let's get this protected ASAP. So that is back-to-back -back rips of Mimikyu EX showcases with alternate art pulls. Sylveon V alternate art. Absolutely stoked to see that. Of course, there's a million alternate arts in Evolving Skies, and that is not one that I need, but I will never complain about pulling it. It's a lot better than hitting like some of the lower dollar ones like Duraludon uh, V or Metacham. Alright, box number six. Raichu and Rapidash Hollow. Indeedy, Zara Aura. Four in a row on good code cards? Nope. There we go. The streak has been broken. Still do the card trick anyways, just so everything is in the same order in my bulk stack. Makes it easier to clean up when I am done. Alright, two more showcases to go. Still a lot of potential in the next six packs.
And these are not from the same Target as the last ones I bought. So, um, Obviously not sure. if Stuff isn't really seeded with this, I'm sure, but... Um, you know, they say lightning doesn't strike in the same spot twice, so... Right, black code card here. Wouldn't mind getting a like a Full Art Serena or something like that. That's a higher dollar card from Silver Tempest, though. Stunfisk, Hollow Dragapult. Alright, is this one going to be a dud, or is there going to be a pull from Evolving Skies? This one is going to be a dud, just a hollow rare from one of the Silver Tempest packs. Carvana, Lelegant. All right, last box. Can I get something from the last box? Code card. Let's see. white code card on the first Tempest. Maybe squeeze another trainer gallery out of this one. Fan P Amoongus. Alright, last pack of Silver Tempest. Ooh, and I got hit with the twofer on the white codes this time. Would love a little trainer gallery hit here, but if not, I definitely got a good quantity of pulls from Silver Tempest in this rip. And on to some Last Pack Magic Evolving Skies. Not that it owes me anything else. I did pull an alternate art that is not easy to do, but I do have a chance here at something else with a good code card. Can we finish off strong? Rescue Carrier. It is a V. It is Rayquaza V. All right. I will definitely take that as a way to end this. Let's go through the pulls really quick. Got that Rayquaza, Brakeson, Regilecki, Reshiram, Regilecki VMAX, Jinx, Superior, Ho-Oh, and of course, the best pull of the video, the Sylveon V alternate art from Evolving Skies. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing.